Hello everyone, welcome to the ClickSense tutorial. ClickSense is application which is used by the business users mostly for analyzing the data and projecting to the specific market. So what is this tool? So this there are two types of tools available in the market. One is desktop based application and other is cloud based. In today's tutorial we are going to see the desktop based ClickSense application. So first thing we need, we need to download the ClickSense applications. So you can visit to the ClickSense website and you can get the downloader. But before that you need to provide your first name, last name and other details. Accept the agreement with the ClickSense and choose the option download now. Once the application is downloaded, it will we will see the we'll see that in this format it's the click sense desktop setup just double click and install there are it is very easy to install there is no sub steps involved once it once it is installed you can create it's a shortcut as per your need next thing we have to double click on the shortcut and we'll open the application the application will look like this this is called as a ClickSense desktop hub in this ClickSense desktop hub we can see the various application such as consumer sales executive dashboard help desk management and sales discovery so apart from that so what are the application on which we are going to create that will be displayed in this desktop hub so let's start and create our first app in order to create application at the right hand side you can see the button called as a create new app if you are using this click sense first time then whenever you open the application or whenever you open the click sense desktop hub at the same time one pop up will come to create new app so let's click on the create new app give the name you can give any name i am giving the name as sample create so at the background you can see the application got created now we'll open this app whenever you click the open app it will open a new window which will show us various options at the left hand side you can see there is one button symbol and here you can see the app, app overview data manager data load editor data model viewer and open hub so you can directly go to these windows by clicking these options the second button has the options such as add data help and about if you want to check the version of this click sense you can go to the about then you have the save and here is a, your sample application one which we created at the right hand side you can see the edit option and the setting button where you can see the, see the various settings at the bottom you have the two options to add the data to this application first option is adding the file such as xls cvs etc there is one more option called as a data load editor in today's tutorial we are going to use the spreadsheet file to load the data in this application for the data load editor we will see that option in upcoming session so for this we first need to have the data so we have already captured a data it has cust id cust name cust country product sold sales channel number of units sold and date of date of selling that is date sold we will import this file in our project so how to import so open your application go to a folder where you have the file so this is the file we have captured let me minimize this and just drag this when you drop the file the click sense app application detect the what are the headers and what are the data and it will be shown in this format if you want to change the header location you have the option also suppose 
I want a row number 1 to be header then that would be a header by default it is 0 so that is the reason it is picking what are the options what are the data available at 0 row. once you see that data is ok everything looks fine then you can select the option load data and finish so this will capture the data from the flat uh, the xls file and load into the your project and it will complete in one, it is completed in a one second because data is low volume in real time scenario it might take a more time compared to a small files now on this op on this dialog box we have the options such as open data manager or edit the sheet as we uploaded the data if you have any issues then you can go to the data manager right now everything is loaded properly so we we'll go to the edit the sheet so here is the uh, kind of editor where we can create a uh, various charts and various components at the bottom if you see we have the cut copy and paste as well as delete so these are the normal function which comes with any normal windows application then we have undo option or and redo option also if you want to revert the changes and at the right hand corner we have the properties if you want to see what are the properties for this section and this properties will changes as the uh, when we select the different components for now i will just minimize that at the left hand side we have the various charts then we have the custom object we have the master items and fields as we proceed further in our to in our tutorials we will explain each section in detail so for today's demo we will just create one bar chart so let's select the bar chart and drag here so the whenever you select any chart you have to provide two things first is dimension and second is measure so what is this dimension dimension is nothing but the column from the imported data so you can choose any column as a dimension and any other column as a measure so let's select uh, channel a uh, sales channel as a one of the dimension and we will add major as a uh, number of items sold if you have that thing let's see unit sold so we have so we'll add that so each channel how many uh, units are selling we will sum those and just click on that so this is the ma uh, this is the chart we are showing by direct channel we got more than 10k by online we got more than 50k and from retail we got more than 40k so these are the details we can able to capture easily so this is just simple chart you can minimize you can maximize as per your spreadsheet or if you want to uh, uh, give any details in in this section depending on that you can uh, minimize or the maximize this chart you can give the chart name also like uh, sales per channel etc you can give any name it's up to you and this is very simple uh, there are so many interesting things which can be configured in this click sense application for today's session this is only in upcoming session we will see a more detail i hope this session helpful for you to understand the click sense application and to configure and install the click ClickSense application and create one sample project. If you have any questions or queries, you can mention the video in the comment section of this video. Thank you for watching my video and do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you and have a nice time.